Okay, uh, this is part two of my scrolling navbar tutorial, and uh, so I thought I'd, I'd uh, show you guys how to put your um, your text, your uh, your not your text, your uh, CSS styling into a new page, so you can use it on every single page you wanted to. Um, it's really simple, and it's amazing how many people don't know how to do it. Um, so just real quick, uh, we want to come right up here above our style. And we're going to put in our uh, our starting tags, and uh, inside of our uh, our starting tags here, we want to say link, and we want to say rel, oh, rel, which is uh, uh, I forget what it stands for. Um, I I can't remember what it stands for. Um, we want to say style sheet inside of here. So it what what this link is going to be is it's going to be a style sheet. That's what C CSS stands for, cascading style sheets. And so what this link is, is we're pretty much going to link off to an external file that is going to be a style sheet file. So it's that's pretty much what that's for. Um, so uh, next we want to say type equals. And this is going to be the exact same thing as this, so our type slash CSS. And what that's pretty much just saying is the style sheet we're linking off to is a CSS style sheet. So, just simple. So next, we just want to say href equals, and our href. If you've worked with links before, which you likely have, uh, the href is just the the location of the file. Now I haven't created the file yet, so I'm just going to call it layout.css. Uh, that's usually what I call my uh, CSS pages because I usually only have like one or two for my entire site, or for each site I make. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a new file and I'm just going to make it so I can save it. So I'm in my scrolling navbar directory here. There's nothing else in this directory. Uh, but I'm going to change the name to layout.css. So you want to make sure you have that .css extension on it. Now, it does say normal text file, but if I change the extension here, it will automatically change it. Uh, See, so it's layout.css. And inside of here, we have layout.css, cascading style sheet document. So, inside of here, all we want to do is we just want to copy our CSS code, hit Control X or Command X on a Mac, and you can get rid of that, and you can just paste it in here, and you can see instantly that there's a little bit of syntax highlighting, and that's because I'm using Notepad++ uh, for my web development, uh, which I usually use, um, and it just shows you uh, some of the things. So if we refresh, everything's exactly the same. So that's just uh, that's really the only way I think. Uh, so that's that's how to link off to a uh, an external style sheet uh, to use it on any web, web page. So all you have to do is you just have to copy this, this single line, and you just paste it into any uh, page you want to be able to use that style sheet for. Uh, but keep in mind that it, it's relative to the uh, to the current file. So which that means is right now I'm on the index.php page and my index.php page is in the exact same directory as my layout.css. And see, if this was in a directory called, I don't know, like, designs, you'd have designs forward slash layout.css. So it's relative to the position of the file that it's being uh, being uh, linked off in, in this case, our index.php file. So uh, that's the end of the series, short series. Um, so, thanks for watching.